So we will create a drag and drop slide. To do that, you can either add a new blank slide or duplicate one of the existing ones. In this case, we will duplicate the text and image slide. Right click on the slide and click duplicate. Then move the slide down by dragging it across other slides. Adjust the slide by removing the image and changing the width of the text fields so there would be more space for the, for the drag and drop interaction. Before you create the interaction, you have to add the necessary elements, drag sources and drop targets. To do that, you can add a simple rectangle shape as we did it in the master slide. Create it as big as you need and add text to it. You can change the size and style for this element as any other element. Now that we have created one drag and drop element, we can duplicate it to make the process faster. Now we have one drag source element and one drop target element. Let's change the colors a bit so we can tell them apart. It's important to have meaningful titles for drag and drop elements so it would be easier later to know which ones go where. You can do that in Properties tab, simply change the name to match the object. Once it's done, click Insert, Launch Drag and Drop Interaction Wizard, or click on the Interactions drop-down in the navigation bar and choose Drag and Drop option there. In total, there will be three steps in the drag and drop process. First, you have to select all drag source elements. We only have one, so click on it and then click Next. Now on the upper left corner, you can see that you are in step two of three steps. Here you have to select Drop Targets. Click on the Drop Target and click Next. In the third step, you have to set the correct answers. Click and drag from drag source to drop targets to set the correct answers. Once you are done, click finish. Now you can see frames around our objects and an arrow that shows which drag source goes to which drop target. The interaction wizard also created a submit button and feedback texts. You can move all objects around. Drag feedback texts on the side so they won't be in, your, in our way. When you need to add more drag and drop elements to your interaction, you can simply duplicate the existing ones. Select both of them and with the right mouse click, select Duplicate. Move them below and change the titles. This is not required, it will only help you later to understand what goes where. To add the new element to drag and drop interaction, click on one of them and go to drag and drop panel. There you can see the object name and below you can mark it as drag source or drop target. Set drag source and with other element do the same, but this time choose drop target. To set the correct answers for the new elements, go to drag and drop panel and under options you will find a button set correct answers. In this window you can add or change the existing answers. In the first column set all drop targets and in the second column choose the correct drag sources. Now it's all set and we have created a drag and drop interaction.